And I have to tape them all, right? It's crazy that my worlds are colliding. Because of you. It's all because of you. The book is so good. Brr. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So it is Tuesday morning and I'm downstairs in the basement. Carly's over there doing homework. She's got, where's Toby? Oh, she got Toby and Bean in her lap, and we're downstairs right now. I've actually been up since 7.30, which is really early for me, sadly. I usually get up about 9, but we woke up, let the dogs out. Usually we lay back down for a little bit, but we decided we might as well just get up because we had to be up by 9. Well, actually, we had to be up by like 8.30 to make our bed and stuff because we had cleaning crew come today. You guys know I used to... Cause I like, I don't like them making my bed. I like to make it myself. I know it's kind of weird, but Carly wanted to know why we made our bed. I guess <laughs> she did make her bed. But anyways, um, do you guys remember the last cleaning video that I made where I was like cleaning the house and you're like, you should make more of these videos. It took me such a large portion of the day to do everything that I did and I didn't even clean the whole house. And I'm like, this is just impossible to keep up with. I never go upstairs. That bathroom up, like the boys' old bathroom, it's like the toilet's actually almost, it's, what would you call it? It's got like a, a rust stain, I think maybe that's what you call it, because no one uses that bathroom enough. So it's just, it needs to be clean. The main issue is the bathrooms and cleaning our hardwood floors. Like, I vacuum them all the time, but I don't mop them all the time. And I definitely don't mop the whole entire house. So I'm like, I told Kat, I'm like, you know what? I work hard. I deserve to get my house cleaned. At least, I'm not going to go back to every week. I don't know. We're going to try out today and see how it goes. Because I have to be honest. Sometimes, like, when cleaning people are here and they leave and you're like, they didn't do this. They didn't do that. And, like, you feel like you're doing extra stuff. Because you want it all clean. You know what I mean? Like, maybe the cabinets in the kitchen, like, I don't know, it's in our paperwork. They're supposed to dust everything, vacuum everything, wipe down all cabinets, um, ceiling fans, light fixtures. I'm trying to think what else. Obviously vacuum, mop, clean the bathrooms, obviously showers, toilets, sinks, mirrors, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, oh, woodwork, the wood trim. That's another thing that's hard to keep up on because we have white wood trim through the whole house. And it's like I'll walk upstairs and there's just like dust on the woodwork all upstairs because I'm never up there so I don't clean. So I don't know. We're giving it a trial run. It's really, I think, pretty affordable. The company we use, it's, um, we have a 4,000, actually almost, it's like 4,100 square foot house and it's $136. It's actually 125 but then they charge tax. So $136 to have this whole house cleaned. It's really pretty worth it. I'm gonna work out, but first I'm gonna clean. Our exercise equipment is so dusty from all the like construction down here. It's really, our treadmill is really bad. So I'm like, you know what? I'll have some extra time. I'm gonna wipe down, clean everything. We're almost ready to move the stuff over I'm the almost finished gym, but not quite. We have to paint the woodwork, paint the walls, because they're just primed so far. Oh, and we're gonna go with this little bit darker gray. This is the light gray. This is passive gray. That's through our whole entire house. And I wanted to go a little bit darker, so we painted a sample here. This is, I think it's called, what's it called, Argos? Where's the paint? In the back of my truck. Oh, it's still in the truck. So see, we have this mess here. This was the part that I helped Ken with very little. Apparently my work wasn't sufficient. Right? Correct. He said I, he had to fix some of my sanding. Basically had to fill all the nail holes on the trim and sand them. And right now Ken's hooking up the electrical. Head of the game. And I have to tape them all, right? Yeah, because we're doing this one before we should be. You can tell them why. I'm doing because I'm being impatient and I want the electrical done, not waiting for painting, right? Doesn't look like it's that hard. Look, you already got 
three of them done. <laughs> this is the view I really wanted to show you guys the other day. I feel like all these leaves are already falling. They're gonna be completely off here pretty soon. But I'm headed out for the day. It's four o'clock and I'm headed to a therapy appointment. This would be the fourth one. And uh, I feel like each time we kind of end up, the conversation ends up taking a different direction. And so I'm not really sure exactly what the plan is for today. Um, I figured that I, I told you guys that I was gonna film like a separate kind of like just anxiety, mental health update video for you guys. And I guess I just, you have to really be in the right mindset to like dig deep and want to like share, you know what I mean? So I just haven't felt it, but my plan is after my appointment today, because usually it just opens up a lot of thoughts and feelings and sometimes when that 50 minutes is over I still have so much more that I would like to talk about. So I will fill you guys in on a separate video. I don't know if it will go up before or after this one. Just check it out on the channel either in a day or two or maybe I already posted it. I don't know. Okay guys, good morning. It is the next day. I thought I would kind of like half make the bed. Ken made it yesterday since we had cleaning here. And he really likes the bed clean. I on the other hand, I could live without it. It really doesn't make or break my day. But I thought it would be nice and at least straighten the room. I didn't really do it the way he does it, but oh well, it's done. I got my crew of brothers here with me. Look, the two brothers, they follow me everywhere. Two sets of brothers, I should say. I wanted to show you guys, look, this is not even 24 hours after cleaning and look at our floor. Because of you. It's all because of you. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of dogs that shed a lot, but golden retrievers, the worst and Carly even brushed both of them yesterday and they still shed 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 here's my outfit I have workout pants on just a sweatshirt because it was chilly this morning it's 35 degrees out and I don't have you are licking the camera I don't have my tennis shoes on yet I have my <clears throat> slides from Amazon that are so comfortable here's what it looks like outside my office window Beautiful, beautiful day because the sun is shining. Even though there was like frost on the grass this morning, it was so cold. I have a lot to get done today because <laughs> yesterday, engrossed in reading this book called The Idea of You. I finished it in two days, mostly yesterday <laughs> is when I read the bulk of it because I was reading it downstairs in the basement while cleaning was here. Then I read it like all last night until I finally finished it. The book is so good. So it's basically the story about this mom. She's 39 years old, she's divorced. She's like a art gallery owner. So she's like super fancy, wears all these fancy clothes and stuff. And she takes her 13 year old daughter and her friends to this boy band concert of a bunch of like 20 year old boys. Kind of picture like a One Direction situation like a long time ago when they were younger. And they did like the meet and greet before the concert, like they had tickets for that. And she ends up like having this whole affair with this 20 year old. So yeah, she's twice his age. So it's juicy, it's steamy, it's like all the good things. And then all of a sudden it's over. Like, I can't even explain. You knew the story was coming to an end, like it was getting there. And then all of a sudden it, I'm like <laughs> trying to swipe for the next page on my Kindle and it was over. I was so confused. I mean, it ended, but it like ended in 
three sentences. Yeah, I really need to get to work because this it's Wednesday and the past two days I was like, eh. <laughs> We're going bye-bye. We're going bye-bye. Get in the car. Okay, move over. Move over. It's cold. Brr. All right, so Carl, what did you do so far today? Took three tests. So you're now done? With technically four classes, but I still have to take the final exam for one of them. Are you doing that this week or? <laughs> Probably tomorrow or Friday. So you'll have basically all of November, all of December, and half of January to get two classes done. Are you gonna space it out or are you just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. you're just gonna get them done? Yeah. So you're gonna have no school for two months basically. Mm -hmm. So in case anybody was wondering why Carly hasn't posted on her YouTube channel, that's pretty much why. It's a big part of it. Just because uh all I, we do is school. Yeah, it's it. it's like school, school, school. She's just trying to get it done. Dance every once in a while. <laughs> I'm back on like trying to real strict, low carb low fat as much as I can. I am making meatloaf and mashed potatoes for dinner tonight because I bought that. If you go to Costco, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I'm making for dinner. Anyways, yeah, I'm back to kind of, I don't know. I feel like yesterday was my last therapy appointment. I don't have any future appointments set. Obviously, I can go if I need to, but um, tonight will be the first night that I go to sleep without the ambient, so that's kind of going to be... I don't know, I'm just trying to get my life back in gear, get back on track, be working out four or five days a week. And uh, I had a lot of work to get done the earlier part of today. I was working on some things on our YouTube channel. I was making sure, I don't know, stupid little things, making sure I changed Andrew's age to 26 on like our about page and video, future video descriptions and stuff. And I watched the last time I did a montage for our channel, which the video that you see when you go to our channel is like the trailer. Like if you're not subscribed, that's the video you see. 2018. 2018. And I watched that video and I was crying. Because <laughs> we did so many fun things. Like 2018 was a good year. We went to New York City for Thanksgiving. We went to Disney. We went to Virginia Beach. Those were all we just went on like four vacations that year. I know. We went to Punta Cana too. It was such a good year. And then just all the memories with the kids. It doesn't feel like that was three years ago, does it? I lost track. It just feels like it was a long time ago. What is he doing? Beans. What are you doing, a little bean? Little Tobias. It looks like he's in the way if you're driving. <laughs> he's not. He's not. So guys, I was actually gonna have Carly finish up the video when she gets home because she just left all spiffied up, looking beautiful. I don't know where she was going. She said she was running to some stores with one of her friends. But um, I actually realized I used my Canon, what is this? M50 most of the time to vlog on because I like that it has like a wider screen even though it doesn't zoom in a whole lot. We have the G7X Mark II, not the Mark III because the Mark III is crap. Get the Mark II if you need one, plus it's cheaper. Carly had vlogged on here Halloween, not Halloween night, the night before Halloween. She showed you her costume, went to a party. Well, she didn't film at the party. She filmed before she left, showed you guys how cute she looked and stuff. I forgot to share it, so I just took it off the um, SD card and I'm gonna put it here at the end of this vlog because I forgot about it. Ignore my dirty room if you can see it, but I just wanted to show you my Halloween costume. So I have these tights on, this dress, and then this jacket some cat ears and I actually have fake eyelashes on and this choker which is literally choking me but I need to put earrings in which I'm gonna do that right now actually oh wait I'll just wear these because they're right here but um yeah we're going to a Halloween party I'm gonna see my dance friends and I'm bringing some of my own friends it's crazy that my worlds are colliding they've met each other before 
but like it was a while ago but they like know of each other because like obviously I talk to them a lot so like they hear like I cannot find my ear hole they hear about like are you kidding me they hear about like my life and stuff so they know each other and I'm super excited and I used to be really close I mean I still am but like I used to hang out with my dance friend dance friends all the time and I've met a lot of people from her school and a lot of them are gonna be there so I'm excited to see all of them because I haven't seen them in a long time but yeah that is all I'm going to pick up Courtney and Josie and we're about to go so I hope you guys have a good Halloween and I'm gonna have a good Halloween myself no negativity and I decided not to do my hair which is crazy because I always do my hair but I think it looks pretty nice natural so I'm excited I'm also wearing my Doc Martens, but, um, yeah, let me know, DM me how your Halloween went, I'll talk about mine in a future video, but thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.